Sohail Arabi, an Iranian jail blogger, must be released immediately. So, uh, so that's the title. So, Sohail is a jailed rights activist, an activist, and a blogger who has been in prison in Iran since 2013. He has been physically and psychologically tortured solely for practicing his freedom of speech through his blog and social media. There was a campaign to free political prisoners in Iran, uh, inviting everyone to join us on August 17th, um, 2019, to demand the release of Sohail and all political prison, uh, prisoners in Iran. The organization of the Atheist Republic, hey, that us, we're on the news, uh, has organized an international day of protest on August 17, 2019 in different countries across the world, inviting everyone to join them to demand Sohail's release. So I don't know when you're listening to this, but for us, August 17th was yesterday. So we just did this yesterday. We, I was, I'm in London, so we did ours in, we protested in front of Iran's embassy in London. This happened in many other cities. We recorded the videos and we took the pictures and this is not just, we're not just gonna stop at doing the protest. So the plan is, and we're gonna keep doing this and we're gonna keep learning how to keep making these protests bigger and bigger, right? So the plan is to identify political prisoners, blasphemers and atheists that have been in prison for, for just like, for example, Sohail Arabi just made a post on Facebook insulting Prophet Muhammad. And he did it with an anonymous account, but somebody somehow figured it out that it was him. And he's been in jail ever since, right? So how many years has it been? Um, it's been seven years. Around seven years he's in jail. He's been on and off death row simply for a fucking Facebook post, right? For a Facebook post. And he's been tortured in jail. He's been beaten. He's been separated from his daughter. He's been... His daughter for seven years and his mother and also his wife. His mother has been now captured and arrested because he's been, his mother has been trying for seven years to get him out of prison for a Facebook post insulting Prophet Muhammad, right? But the goal is not to just have these protests and then be like, bring some attention to it and then just move on, right? We're, again, this is a learning process from us. We're going to have these protests. Uh, and we're going to bring as much attention as we can to it. And what we, the next step is to learn, the first step is to learn how to do these prot protests and highlight the cases that we want. The next step is that Atheist Republic is going to try to learn how to reach out to journalists, smaller journalists that are that might respond to you easier, and to get them to come cover these stories, even if it's in smaller news outlets, smaller newspapers, it's fine because it's harder to get into bigger newspapers but the, if we get to smaller newspapers that's already good uh, and then we could keep working on the first two steps getting bigger crowds and then getting to bigger news publications right and then the third step is to reach out to politicians again smaller time politicians first and then maybe keep growing and eventually to bigger co politicians so step one have a huge rally Right now they're small. Hopefully we can make them bigger. Step two, get a news coverage. Step three, use the fact that it got news coverage to go to politicians and try to get them to make to to put pressure on the country that we're targeting for their human rights violations. And again, these things a lot of people think like oh petitions or protests, these things don't work. These countries are going to do whatever. No, it's not true. We have shown time and time again that we have stopped for human rights violations because of this there are people that are alive today because people came into the streets and it's not just about the tar the person that we're highlighting okay it's not just about the person we're highlighting because if you make if you if you put if you embarrass the country if you if you if you introduce a cost for governments to go after atheists for governments to go after blasphemers they put that cost into co their calculation the next time they want to decide whether or not to torture somebody whether or not to kill somebody whether or not to imprison somebody simply because they said something that was blasphemous to them simply because they insulted your their religion again how pathetic it is for you to put somebody in jail and to torture them because of your weak religion that cannot even handle a simple insult. If that's an insult to Islam, then you imprisoning these people is, all, is, is a bigger insult because it shows how weak and pathetic your religion is. So you might as well put yourself in prison. Anyways, let me see what the... Shripam, did you want to add anything?
Well, uh, I wanted to mention that uh, even while being in prison, he protested for the other prisoners who were captured for insulting Islam or something like that. Right. Also, the, also there has been like a small protest and even from countries where people cannot outright protest on the streets, they have been like uh, you uh, you're tweeting hashtag free so help or supporting the protest. Yeah. And even I, I made a video about free soils so uh, there has been protests yeah chris in the live chat is saying the campaign went very well all around the world everyone gave their all i mean i think this was much better than i thought for our first attempt at the protest it was really i was very impressed i mean good job to our team we had a big uh, volunteer team thank you so much to ali and alice and mike and so many other people that helped with this campaign i'm very impressed with our team and the way we um we did our first attempt at, at doing this and I'm ho i hope we keep growing and keep doing this and and i also want to thank like we had in in london we had um uh, alex from cosmic skeptic show up we had drew from genetically modified skeptic uh, and also rash um steven from rational uh, rationality rules who recorded uh everything and he's going to be releasing our protest in london on his channel which is going to bring a lot more attention to sohail's case because his channel is pretty big so again people that say these things don't work you, you know you're wrong um and yeah thank you for anybody that did that did come out that did do you know raise awareness about this yesterday we really appreciate it we did we did need all the attention we could get for this to um and and you guys helped I'm, I'm very grateful. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.